Good evening and welcome to the Ryan McBride Brandywell Stadium. Derry City, of course, in their traditional red and white jerseys with black shorts. Alan Reynolds, the Derry assistant manager, just retrieving it. McJanet puts the head down, does really well, goes past Banks, keeps the ball in play, just settles himself for the cross. And it's a good cross into the box, and Braden arriving late, just failed to meet it with his head. Patching on the edge of the 18s brought the ground as well. This time it's Robbie Burton with the foul. But this is certainly Wall Patching and Patrick McElhaney territory. Peter preventing Wall Patching from continuing his run. It's up to Wall Patching. It's a direct free kick, so he will have it. And he does have a go at it. Oh, and it's touched on as well. There was a slight deflection on the way through. But what a goal from Will Patching in the 15th minute. It's Derry City 1, Sligo 0. City take the lead in the 15th minute. Reflection <laughs> through. The keeper was stuck in the rigging in the end. Of Cameron McJanet been encouraged to hit it from the day crowd in the South End Park stand. Patrick McLean back to Michael Duffy. Michael Duffy with a flashing shot, Derry City certainly with the butt between their teeth. Banks easily. It's a dummy by Bulger, not bought by Cameron Dummigan. Dummigan lets fly and it's a great save from Luke McNicholas. Back a, a yard or two and he finds Kirk on the overlap down this left channel. And it's an important touch from Brian Maher as Aidan Keenan was closing in at the back post. But again, charged down on the edge of the 18-yard box. Derry riding their luck at the moment. Aidan Keenan, the league's leading goal scorer. Trying to pick a pass to Wolf Fitzgerald. But Brian Maher, with all the confidence in the world. To regain possession for Sligo, but Derry yeah, hungry, fighting Derry. at everything. And Michael Duffy gets a shot away. And again, McNick Nicholas flaps at it. But Duffy gets a second bite at it. And it's just wide of McNicholas's upright. So Blaney takes a couple of steps back. Brian Maher alerted. Blaney with a flashing shot, but it goes straight onto the wall. Burton tries to head it back onto the Attention around the penalty spot. It's a short one. They make a Duffy Duffy pulls the trigger. And look, McNicholas gets down well to his left hand side to avoid marauding down that left channel. Duffy onto the edge of the 18. Finds McJanet. McJanet, first time cross under the 18-yard box. It's going to fall the back post, Jamie McGonagall. Jamie McGonagall flashes a shot. It's a rare shot. McJanet finds Duffy. Duffy right footed, loves it under danger area. Ryan Graydon arriving late. And uh, I think he has just taken a yard too many. And as the Derry fans know, he has scored some important late goals for the Candy Stripes as the ball's lifted on. Ooh, and there's a heavy challenge on McJanet. He goes down, but the referee waves play on as Patrick McLean. He gets a bite at it. Oh, and it's just wide of Luke McNicholas is upright. Nice one touch football. Sees Derry regain possession through Michael Duffy. Duffy onto the edge of the 18 yard box. Thompson on the edge of the 18 finds Akintundi. Akintundi oh, just lifts it in front from under the nose of Luke McNicholas. Okay, well, they regain possession for Sligo. And plays it down that left hand side. Levac goes to the touchline. Gets his cross under the box. Oh, oh, and Mark Conley intervened on that occasion. Bobby Burton will take this free kick. As Red and White Army rings out around the brand oh, Burton loves it under the penalty spot. Max Matta gets a touch on it, but Patrick McLaney can bring it away. There's no one forward at the moment. But James Akintunde is the furthest forward. Luke McNicholas has come out of his goal. James Akintunde continues his run. The ball's bounced up between the two. And Joe, as the ball finds Lewis Banks on this right-hand side. Banks and Field finds Keena. Keenan delivers it under the 18-yard box. Max Matta had stole a yard away from himself, and he just touches it over the bar, but I think it was the intervention of Shane McElhaney coming in behind him there. Kirk across the field finds Mora. And eventually, Rob Harvey brings proceedings to a close. Derry City with another 1-0 home victory. It's finished here at the Brandywell. Derry City 1, Sligo Rovers 0.